Slow me down. Ahoy! Here you are! I thought you'd be too busy flying around the islands with those wings of yours. Bet you've long forgotten your old mate Mitoboru sitting there slowly soaking away in the ocean. We're here now, aren't we? So you said you needed our help. What's up? It's not that important. Remember when you helped me find the missing pieces of my body? How can I put it? I'm not sure if it's because I've fulfilled my wishes, or if these waters are slowly diminishing my ability to talk. Recently, I find myself sleeping most of the time, rather than staying conscious. I see. So it's because of some contraption that I became your wave rider and could communicate with you. Oh, does that mean that once the effects of the machine wear off, Mitaburu won't be able to talk anymore? We gotta do something before it's too late! Ha <laughs> ha! There'll be no need for that, Paimon. I am quite content that I had the chance to talk to you at all. Arr, the more I think about it, for me, as a ship, to have gotten to talk to you in the past few days, it really is a wondrous thing. The stuff dreams are made of. But no, I need to ask you for one more favor. Remember when I told you that once we found my body, I'd take you for a cruise? Well, it seems my body was reduced to a slew of sorry shipwrecks. And most of the treasure was taken away, leaving nothing good for you. But this time, I swear, as a mighty pirate ship, there be treasure ahoy, and a fine treasure at that. Or else may I be strangled by seagrass and fed to the fish. Just trust me one last time. Well, since Mitaburu probably won't be able to speak soon... And, since there really is treasure this time, let's go! Time to set sail! Ah, come on then, me hearties. Time to come aboard. all of a sudden. Oh, wow, look! There's a lot more lights on the sea! Those lights are from Inazuma. I haven't seen them for many a year. Follow them. They look just like fishing lanterns. I feel like I'm back in the port at Seirai, with the fishing boats lining the harbor at night. Even pirates don't get to go on adventures every day. When he had free time, Zymon would take us out fishing. He would harpoon fish with his barbed spear. I never saw him miss once. I do wonder where he is now, but knowing him, I'm sure he would do everything he could to return to Sarah. Remembered my name. Wow. So, Mitaburu. No, wait. Um, so, uh, Mr. Chip? What's your real name? The maiden of Asase Shrine named me Kosekimaru. 
Most of my mates were from Koseki village, and she hoped I could take them back to their hometown. Koseki Maru. Hmm. Paimon still prefers me to Boru, but Koseki Maru is a nice name too. But I... I failed them. If only I could have been stronger, I might have been able to survive the thunderstorm and make it back to Koseki village with my friends safe and sound. So were the Inazuman lights we saw, too. Is this all happening because of me? Festering fish bait. I'm going to drag everyone down with me. Come on, Mitsu! Uh, Kofi Kamaru, you can do it! Sail through the desert! Aye, you're right. I am the proud Kosakimaru. Pirate ship under the command of the mighty pirate, Ako Domiki. The wood of Seirai made me flesh and bones, and the shrine maiden of Asase gave me my name. I have sailed the seas for decades, never once leaving me friends behind. Even when fighting the strongest foes, I never feared nor faltered. A little thunder and lightning can't stop me! Ha! Watch me breeze through. Kimaru, you're amazing! Oh, a talking ship is still just a ship. The Traveler's superb sailing skill was what saw us safely through the storm. <laughs> I'd rather not. <sighs> I'm afraid I may have triggered the thunderstorm. These waters are less stable than they once were. But we've arrived. Traveler, Paimon, the treasure is right up there. Isn't this the place we first visited when we were looking for treasure? There was nothing here but half of Kosi Kamaro's hole. I am certain that there's treasure up there this time. It's... What did I call it again? It's the intuition of a mighty pirate ship. Wait a minute. You said you had two things to tell us, right? And the first one was that you'd remembered your name. What was the other one? <laughs> I thought you'd already forgotten. I'll tell you when you come back. Surely the treasure should be near Kosi Kamaro's shipwreck. Let's go and check it out. Huh. 
stabilize. Huh? Yahoo! Kosikamaru, you're a big fat liar! <laughs> 